Okay, I'm filming a little impromptu unboxing video because a delivery just arrived. I really wanna open them and I felt like doing it unboxing style, so let's do it. So these are Fall Guys figures by Ami Ami. Here's the thank you card that came with it. I pre-ordered these a few months ago and here they are. So looking at the sides here, we have number one, two, and three. It only goes up to three as of right now anyway. So we have chicken, rookie, and hot dog and they come with various pieces. So you have like your top and bottom and you, know, you got different face plates, there's a crown, there's little stickers, the lightning bolts and the hearts. So you can put those on the fall guy. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Probably not the stickers. So yeah, there's Mr. Hot Dog. It doesn't look like much from the front because there's so much plastic. But yeah, there's that one. Oh, and on this side, got him with his crown. <laughs> okay, where were we? The chicken. I kind of started opening this up and then I wanted to go show them to Christian, so I put this back in. So I've already cut this open and cut off some tape. But other than that, this is the original unboxing. So yeah, this back piece is gonna fall off because I cut that tape. Some shoe, no, wrist cuffs. Oh, and the sleeves. These are the sleeves for the outfit, okay. <laughs> Get the arms. This is to hold them to the stand, I take it. That is the stand. The little face plates. I want to dump it, but I'm scared. Okay, maybe we'll take these ones out. The little crown, the outfit. Boop. Okay. Oh my God. It has that little cushiony texture, just like all the items in the levels have that cushion and the little plinth when you're in the main menu. It's like that. Okay, let's grab the guy. See, I'm so torn about how I want these displayed because they could be displayed like this. Like I kind of like the classic bean look, right? But also these are some of the original outfits which are also very classic. These joints move. Woo, even his little legs move. <laughs> And then the other arms have bent elbows and the fist is closed. So you could do a little running pose or something. Let's try to snap them in half. Oh yeah, that comes out easily. Boop. Now these pinks don't match, which does bother me a bit. <laughs> and all of them have a pink stand. So it's not like I can mix and match. Cause well one, he's just gonna blend in pink on pink, but it's not the same type of pink. This is a bit more purpley pink. And then the face plate is just a third type of Pink, but I probably wouldn't use that faceplate anyway. Maybe for this pink one, he just has to stay plain bean because like that's the classic Fall Guys bean. Now this could be a little tighter. It's kind of loose and it's also not matching shapes. Interesting. But let's just put his little rookie outfit on just to see. How is the crown supposed to stay on? Where are my deco stickers? Oh, they're back here. Okay, this diagram shows nothing about the crown. <laughs> this one shows how to change the face plate. It shows pushing at the bottom, I, unless I meant like put the bottom in first then click the top up, but like, how do I get this off? It will forever be a mystery. Now I do need to figure that out. For this one, I do just want the plain face plate, but the others I might wanna swap. I thought this would at least be like magnetic or something. In the picture, it almost looks like there's just a little pink thing under the crown, but that could have been something that was just done for the photo. Could use some double-sided tape, <laughs> but let's try to put him in his outfit. Okay, don't break him. Ooh, scary. I'm scared to use an object to push on the faceplate because I don't want to leave a mark because that's the faceplate I want to use. So maybe we'll try it on a different bean. Okay, so in this case, he gets a whole new bottom. Cause I can also mix and match this with my other ones. They don't have to stay matching, but. If I'm doing hot dog bottom, I'm probably gonna do hot dog top, you know? Oh yeah, he's gonna need his sleeves. 
I lost track of which one was labeled left and which one was labeled right. Uh. So I guess the sleeve just stays loose so that it can move around when the arm moves around. I'm not even convinced I put that sleeve on the correct side. <laughs> I mean, it seems right enough. Oh, the sweatbands would have to go on before I put the arm on. No! What have I done? This is really hard, I'm not gonna lie. That shoulder piece is so annoying. Maybe he wants to go sleeveless. Okay, that one was easy. I mean, that stays on better than the crown, but it's still, if I push it hard enough. <laughs> Yay, cute, Ricky Bean. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm probably gonna put them back to regular pink bean, but for now, let's stick them on here. You could do it like a midair type of pose if you wanted to. He could be jumping. I mean, it'd make more sense maybe if both his arms were bent, but there he is. Next, let's do the hot dog. So, same base, same two arm types, but green. The crown. Wait. Well, they're kind of big. Wait, I could wear it as a ring. I was gonna say a little finger crown. Maybe for my thumb. Still kind of big. Well, here, Kiki, can it fit on your tail? No, maybe too small. Oh. <laughs> it's so hefty, but so cute. Wiener Warriors, rise up. Oh, this one doesn't have feet. Oh, maybe because, actually that makes sense. Cause like with the rookie, he specifically got runners. So he has a different type of feet. Whereas this one, you know, if you wear the hot dog costume, your feet show out the bottom. There's no hot dog outfit shoe. I'm sorry if anyone was hoping for a face cam for this video, I just, I didn't want to spend a bunch of time setting up for this. I just wanted to open it right away. Cute, this is such a cute shade of green actually. Love it. And the face plate's more vibrant than the actual green. Just like for the pink one, there was a more vibrant pink. And we got that orange. Orange might be nice for a hot dog. Wait, what does it show? Oh yeah, they just show the white one here. So let's try popping a foot off. <laughs> I'm scared. Arms off. <laughs> now he is egg. Uh, yeah, let's put the feet on before we put the top on. See, I could do the orange bean in the hot dog outfit if I want. That's an option. In fact, we have many options. Um, okay, yeah, so we still need this because then the hot dog is going to go over it. <laughs> See, if you put the orange bean in there, it, it would kind of blend in with the hot dog colors a bit better. So yeah, way fewer pieces for this one. Much more simple. <laughs> oh wait, that's your wrong arm, wrong arm. He wants a hug. I just, I'm still shocked by this crown situation. What are we supposed to do with this? I mean, at least you can go like that, I guess. Woo, crown, crown stand. <laughs> okay. There, he's gonna be standing like that, at least for now. <laughs> okay, that one was quick. Now let's grab the last one. Slide this down. Oh yeah, I never took the deco stickers off the last one. And the hot dog came with a really dark purple color. And the chicken one comes with light blue. Arms. Oop, 
in the red face plate. Some more arms. Oh yeah, we get a lot of arms in this one. Because we got the arms on the bean and his bent arm version, but also chicken arm, both bent and straight version. Whoa. Interesting that they gave us separate feet for the chicken. They're both orange, but it is a different shade of orange. So I guess they were trying to be accurate. You know, they could have cheaped out and just gave us the regular orange feet, but that's nice. Okay, is it just me or is this being glossier than the other ones? He is. Look at that. Yeah, really weird this one's glossy, especially cause like even the chicken parts aren't glossy, but all the orange parts. Are okay. Kind of prefer the matte, but it's okay. Oh yeah, let's try the face plate removal. I'm scared. Cause see, I could use one of those other pieces, but it's gonna leave a mark on the white face plate. Push. I'm break my nails. Oh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Except I don't know what what I want. So I could put the green meat in the chicken outfit. Well, really, once you have the full chicken outfit on, you don't even see the base color of a bean except right around the face plate. And maybe you would in the armholes a little bit, but you know, because you're putting other arms on it, if you want to put the chicken arms on, you don't see any of the original bean. Like, I could almost get away with not having a bean in there. <laughs> like, I could have a whole fourth one if I just put a face plate in here. Just like, Tape the face plate. Although, what are the arms gonna click into? Nothing, I guess. But we're so close to having a fourth bean. We've got extra butt pieces, but we don't have extra torsos. I think I do like this face plate though. The chicken came with this neon yellow one, but I like this light orange one. I think it looks good. It's closer to this yellow anyway. Just trying to gauge how well this would look with hot dog. But I also love green bean. I don't want the green to just be hidden underneath an entire outfit. Yeah. Okay, maybe let's put that on after since the arms don't actually have to go through the holes. <laughs> it's just open on the side. Kind of wish they did give just one extra torso for each one so that we could make a couple fall guys out of each set because there's so many leftover pieces. <laughs> yeah, I like that face plate with the chicken. Yeah, you do see a bit of the color here. Orange d would be the best choice for the chicken, honestly. Plus on the hot dog, it is nice having the contrast of like oranges and reds with the green. So many extra arms and legs, like please. No, the arms don't fit in there. We're, we can't make a Franken bean. <laughs> Wait, I guess this one can't even wear his crown if he's wearing chicken. <gasps> oh, no. oh, now I'm torn about rookie bean. Maybe it would be nice to just leave him in his outfit. Okay, so <laughs> chicken bean cannot have a suspended pose because his top falls off. Doesn't seem like there's a way for it to click in. No, it kind of sounds like it is, but it's, wait, wait, it kind of is holding. Actually, that is kind of hold. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I wasn't gonna give him a mid-air pose anyway, but yeah, I'm growing attached to Rookie Bean. I was excited about plain pink, but like, come on, it's cute. Yeah, you're cute too, Kiki. What? You what, mate? What? I mean, red wouldn't be too bad for chicken either. Too shabby. Kiki, that's just really rude. But anyway, I'm gonna finalize their poses and details and then I'll get back to you in the end. Okay, I had to try Franken bean before I go ahead and finalize the actual beans. I just had to try it out, doing a little mixing and matching. Wait, let's swap out his feet too. <laughs> 
The top and bottom don't stay together that well though. It's very loose. And I still don't understand why the top has this shape and the bottom has a circle. So here's the final look at how I arranged the Fall Guys. I did end up getting four out of it because I <laughs> made a chicken using some styrofoam, which would not cut nicely. I don't have one of those hot wires that cuts styrofoam. And there's some masking tape in there too. I probably could get something 3D printed. I do know people have 3D printers. Uh, I could try to make a torso. Maybe the arms wouldn't snap in perfectly, but I could do something. I even have a 3D pen. I could try doing something myself, but I don't have time for that today. This works, especially since the chicken is suspended by its upper piece. And so if the back piece or the bottom piece is not perfectly connected, it's fine. Really the arms were the main, the main hurdle to cross, I guess. And the shoulders do stick out a little too much, but honestly, this chicken's holding it together quite well, so I ain't complaining. And so because of that, I was able to get a whole extra fall guy. Look at him, <laughs> And I just kept him plain. I did go pink faceplate and pink feet for a minute, and then I was like, no, I kinda just want like one that's just basic bean. I did use the white faceplate for three of them, but it's just what I think looks best in most cases. Red is not too bad for hot dog. It's just that I kinda like being able to see the face a bit more. Feels a bit more Fall Guys that way. The crowns are held on with some double-sided tape. So it honestly looks pretty good. You can't really see the tape. Hopefully that holds up. And I put the three costumed beans on stands just so that they're all the same. This one's the bean that's different, so it makes sense he's the one who's not on the stand. And I wasn't actually a big fan of the orange on the hot dog. It wasn't too bad. And I could put on some green arms. I do have two more green arms, but I decided to put on the other chicken arms because I think it looks good with the bun. I just, I like that. And so you do still see some orange in there and his feet are orange. I might, yeah, I could paint the feet, I could, but I think I will leave them and I have to give him the crown. <laughs> For Rookie, I put his crown on crooked because I thought that was sort of cute. Have it a little slanted. He's jumping. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so those are all the means. 
So excited I got an extra one. This faceplate is being pushed out a bit at the bottom from the foam. But like I said, someday I could make something for it. But this actually looks not too bad. You don't really see the masking tape that much. So yeah, it just blends into the chicken color. Not sure I like that arm pose on the chicken, but I really wanted the hot dog to be doing this, this pose. So you just get that chicken. I can't really pose the arms because they're just gonna fall down. I shouldn't touch them. <laughs> They're not hanging on by a whole lot. So yeah, I love that these are very accurate. Like the model is perfect for Fall Guys. They're not wonky looking. They look very nice. Um, main complaints were that some halves, like top and bottom halves don't stick together very well. Some do, but some combos don't. For the hot dog, one of the feet won't stay in very well. I even tried using different colored feet and it's just that particular foot on the base of this is not tight enough. It's Silly that the crowns don't stick on anyhow, like a magnet or something would be nice. And then the rookie's paint job is a little rough in spots, but the others are pretty good. I'll try to do a little close up here. Like look at this blue along here is a little messed up. Along the, the shoulder area is a little messy too. And even his sweatband doesn't have the cleanest of edge. I tried to turn it so that the front had the cleaner edge. <laughs> his shorts look really good though. And the rest look great, so. Yeah, that's just me being nitpicky, giving, you know, my honest review of these things. This arm is tighter than this arm. I'm kind of, I'm scared. I'm scared that if you pop out the joints too much, they're going to get loose. So if you were playing with this a lot, like if a kid was playing with this, it might start to fall apart over time. I'm planning on just leaving mine as decoration, but I would have loved something like this as a kid. If Fall Guys existed when I was a kid, I'm sure I would play with these until they broke. So you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Mine will be on display somehow, hopefully by my streaming setup. I gotta figure out more ways I can put decorations, put on my Fall Guys merch so you can see it on stream, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I don't know when I'll see you again on this channel. I really only post when I have an extra video that I don't wanna go up on the Bailey J channel, so. Um, yeah, that's that. I'll see you on Twitch though, twitch.tv slash baileyj, where I stream a lot of Fall Guys. Thank you for watching. See you then.